This is a photo of the jerry can storage system that I built and mounted on SV Rock Talk. I posted it to the Morgan Out Islander 41 owners group and I had a question on how I went about building this. So that's going to be the main subject of this week's vlog. The first step in building these is going down to either big orange or big blue and getting a 10 foot length of 2x4, 2x6, and 2x8. Now I used pressure treated since I knew it was going to be outside. And go to the chop saw and have them cut them in half, which is what you see here. If you're trying to build just the simplest version of this, the only other tool you're really going to need moving forward from here is a drill. Now the layout system for this is I use the uh, 2x8 as the floor and the 2x4 and the 2x6 as the front and the back mounting walls. On the face of the 2x6 and the 2x4 are marked off at about every 12 inches a point at which I'm going to uh, put mounting screws in here as you see it laid out here. Here you see me pre-drilling the holes for the mounting screws. After that I placed a bead of liquid nails on the back side before putting the whole thing together using 3 inch long drywall screws. After completing that, here is the mock-up of it. You can see it holds four jerry cans nicely. Now if you want to just do the basic system, you could stop off right here. But I decided to take it a little bit further, so let's get going. Now if you wanted the simplest version of this, you could pretty much stop right here. But if you make one of these, you'll realize it's pretty stout as it sits right now. So what I decided to do was to drill some holes in it, to lighten it up, and give it some aesthetic value at the same time. Now I started on the back side mount using a 2 inch hole saw evenly spaced out drilling the holes like you see here. Here they are all drilled out and here it is with the can mounted to give you some definition of what it looks like. Next I moved on to the base. Here I used a 5 inch hole saw once again evenly spaced out across the bottom. Here you see the holes all drilled out. Here's the final product looking from the back. Next, I simply put on a nice couple coats of Rust-Oleum white. You can choose a different color if you like. Next, we're going to build this what I call the containment system or strapping system to keep them held in place. You can get the screws and the washers that you see here from Lowe's or Home Depot. Here's some of the hardware that I use to make the straps. I'll have the links for this stuff down below you can get them off of Amazon. Here are the straps ready to go on. They're made out of one inch webbing. They've got brass grommets on each end so when you put the mounting screws through there they won't fray out. Once again I pre-drilled the holes. I put two holes on the front side like you see here and a single one on the back holding both of the straps. One additional thing I did was I made some umbrella covers for my jerry cans. They're simple three panel construction with snaps on both the cover and also on the wooden mount itself and yes we pre-drilled those before screwing in the snaps. Here is the completed system mounted on my boat and here it is with the jerry can strapped in and the covers on top. One of my small job updates I wanted to share with you today is mounting this uh, storage device for my winch handles. This particular one here holds three locking winch handles in it. It needs to be drilled and tapped and I'm planning on mounting it on the mezzanine mast uh, as you see here. So after drilling and tapping it, here we see it mounted on there and then finally here you see it. Uh, with the winch handles stored. Our job number two has to do with water leaking in to the engine room. I uh, don't want any of that falling on my nice brand new motor when I put it in. So looking around at possible options, it seems that there's a split between the inside motor room deck and the uh, upper deck there inside the binnacle. So I filled that with some epoxy also, the access panels seem to have been leaking quite a bit of water. So I placed this uh, big thick rubber gasket around the outside of that, 
remounted it, put it back on. It did happen to rain that night, and there was considerably less water inside, so I'll keep looking for where it could be coming in and give you an update. And yes, final update, there was more engine room work. Here's a quick photo with uh, some of the front and back walls cleaned up and painted. More work to go, though. Well, that's a wrap for this week, everybody. Thanks for stopping in to see episode 63 of the Vlogs. We hope you found this video informative, interesting, and if you did, go ahead, give us a thumbs up. Also, we'd love to have you subscribe if you're the first time here. As always, peace and fair winds.